Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for watching. It looks like that as of November 2021, Ubiquiti is adding a new security-oriented feature to Unify Network. Now, this feature is not fully baked yet, but it looks like that Ubiquiti is starting to listen to what users are asking for because this is something that has been asked for, I think that for years. A lot of you might identify this feature as something that resembles parental controls on other home-grade devices out there. Some of you might know it as app control on enterprise devices out there. This feature is trying to give us users control over what can or cannot communicate on our network in a way that's easy to use, easy to configure, without jumping through several firewall rules. So let's stop talking, jump over to the computer, and see what this feature is all about. Join me. All right, guys, so we are at the computer and this is uh, my web interface of my uh, UDM Pro. And you should know that the feature we are going to talk about today is available only starting uh, from a uh, Unify Network version 6.5.51. So in order to access the new feature, all we have to do is to click on the settings gear icon right here. As you can see, I'm already running version 6.5.51. I'll click on traffic and security. And this is the new feature right here. This is it, traffic rules and routes. So as you can see, some of the sub features of this new feature are still labeled as coming soon, meaning there is more functionality probably to be added on a future versions of Unify Network. But what is this new feature trying to do? What is this new feature trying to give us? Let's create a new rule and we will be able to know better. We'll create a new rule and give it a description of whatever. The action will be to block. Matching will be what is it that we want to block. In this case, let's look, for example, on app. And on the app submenu, you can see a lot of apps such as Facebook, Instagram, Zoom. And we've already have a lot of apps that Unify has already sort of curated for us, for us to choose from. And if we'll, for example, select Facebook, uh, unlike uh, traditional web filtering, by the way, I already did a video on all prior security features in Unify, and I will put a link to it in the top right corner. In this video, if you already watched it, you will see that there is already an existing way to do a sort of a web filtering without this feature. And this is exactly the difference. This, this feature is not web filtering. It will block where in the Facebook website or the web, uh, Facebook application, that's, that's correct. But with the new coming features of schedule, for example, we can select the devices that starting a certain hour of the day will block, will get blocked from Facebook, for example. And you can see that on the on sub menu, you can select entire networks or VLANs, or you can select individual devices. So if you're thinking parental controls, you will be able to select your, your children devices and the applications that you are prohibiting them to use starting a certain hour, and you can combine that into a single easy to create rule. Let's, for example, in this example, select my desktop that I'm working on right now. And let's click on add rule. And right now, if I will open up a new browser window, I should be blocked from accessing Facebook. Let's open a new incognito tab and try to access Facebook. I'm not able to. This means the rule is working and look how easy it is, fairly easy it is uh, uh, to configure. So let's dive into the rule again and see what else we can block using this rule. We can, uh, of course, app is what uh, uh, Unify has been curating for us. Let's, for example, see internet. I can block access to the internet and of course in future versions it will be based on it can be based on time of day select networks or devices for example again let's select my desktop and click on apply changes and right now if i'll open up a new browser window i shouldn't be able to go not to facebook and not to any other website and let's see that Facebook, 
No. Let's try CNN.com. No. Let's try ESPN.com. No, I'm completely blocked from the internet, which is fairly a great thing to have in such a, let's say, more intuitive way to configure it. I'm sure that if we'll dive uh, deep enough to firewall rules, we will be able to create firewall rules that will do exactly that. But it will be a lot, I think, a lot messier uh, to configure. And with the uh, features of a, a, a schedule, for example, this is something that is not matching firewall rules because this will be unique to this feature. Is it a complete, uh, let's say, set of parental controls that Unify is giving us? Maybe, maybe it's not exactly. As you can see in this new feature, we can also, in the matching uh, field, we can select local networks. And here's what we can do with this uh, uh, sub-option. We can select, for example, an IoT network we have, and we can block traffic to and from all local networks. And I can select, for example, my server network. And this is a way that I can easily block traffic between certain networks, again, without me needing to uh, uh, mess around and play around with several firewall rules. And uh, uh, it's a lot more, uh, let's say, intuitive and easier to understand. Is it something that I can definitely say that uh, uh, can replace uh, uh, firewall rules? I don't know, I can't say. This feature is too new uh, to know its true quality. I probably won't be migrating firewall rules to this new uh, traffic rules feature. But is it something that's, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, from this uh, initial look at this feature can be uh, a replacement? I think it can, but I don't know if I would. So, as you can see, this new feature is trying to also give us the option to speed limit, which is also a great thing that is, uh, let's say, lacking right now in Unify. You can select an action, for example, to allow app, let's say, Facebook, on a certain device, whatever this device may be. And if, I, uh, and if the new sub-features were already there, I assume that we will be given a, a, a sort of a way to limit uh, the bandwidth or the speed this this app on this device can uh, grab from our general, let's say, bandwidth, internet bandwidth. Again, something that is great uh, in, in other vendors, this uh, may be resembling uh, in QoS in some way. Again, features that are currently lacking, Unify is now giving them, uh, giving, giving us uh, the option to utilize them. And this is always a good thing, giving us the control, giving us the options to uh, decide what can or cannot communicate on our network. So this is the new feature. At this point, it's too early. It's too, let's say, half-baked to truly appreciate. But this is something that, in, in my eyes, is going in, in, in the right direction. That's, uh, that's something that I can say for sure. All right, guys, so I hope this video was informative for you. If you liked it, please give it a like and join our Unify Facebook group. The link will be in the description of the video below. And again, thank you so much for watching and join me in my next video. Bye, everybody. Stay safe.